Welcome back. Current West Virginia Governor Joe Manchin has a 66% approval rating, but that support not translating into votes for the, his Senate bid, where his opponent currently is leading by 6% in the polls. John Racy is that opponent, and he joins us right now. Uh, good morning, you, John. Hey, good morning, Steve. You're not supposed to be ahead. What's happening? Well, I think what I have done is uh, caught somebody uh, possibly a little bit of sleep uh, on the switch. We've been running a very positive campaign of capitalism and free enterprise. It's something that I've done probably for the last 26 years here in West Virginia, for running for Senate three times now and for governor for once. But for the very first time, my conservative message is resonating like you can't imagine. So we feel very good right now about okay. where we are. Well, part of it could be the conservative message. The other part could be that... Uh, there are a lot of people in your state who feel that, and you've made this kind of a campaign issue, is that uh, a vote for Joe Manchin is a vote for Barack Obama. Yesterday, the governor uh, took a shot at the president's health care initiative. Listen to this. He and his family that live in Palm Beach, Florida, they're totally out of touch and out of connection with what's happening in West Virginia. And he wants the sales tax at 23% on food and prescriptions. He wants to do away with minimum wage. That's not who West Virginia is. Oh, Mr. Racy, we had the wrong soundbite right there. He's talking about you. How do you respond to that? <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's a sign of a desperate politician when they lower themselves to attack your family and certainly your lifestyle, how you're going to live, where you send your uh, children to school. And I talk about the issues, and the issues here in West Virginia very clearly are cap and trade, Obamacare, stimulus, and we, we have been very positive in that fact. We've given answers, we've given solutions, what we're going to do when we get to Washington. And when you start attacking, once again, somebody's personal life, I, mm -hmm. I find it odd, especially from a career politician certainly like my opponent is. Well, you mentioned cap and trade. Uh, I saw a Joe Manchin ad out that's running now in West Virginia where he's got a rifle and he takes a shot at cap and trade and he would not be a supporter of it either. Uh, Mr. Manchin must be in trouble because uh, former President Bill Clinton showed up in town yesterday to support him, but that came the same day that you wound up with an endorsement from former Governor Sarah Palin. How important is that nod for you going forward? Well, it's very important. I remember when I ran against Jay Rockefeller back in 1984, he was traveling around the state of West Virginia with Claude Pepper, mm -hmm. and I was traveling around the state with Ronald Reagan. So I'll, I'll take an endorsement any day and any time from Sarah Palin, certainly over former President uh, Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. and, and before you go, Mr. Racy, how much of uh, the uh, support that you're getting right now is an anti-Obama uh, initiative, essentially, where a vote for Manchin is a vote, you say in your campaign ads, for Barack Obama's campaign uh, you know, initiatives and what he wants to pass. Well, I, I think there's no question uh, Obama is not very popular here in the state of West Virginia. I don't think he's very popular anywhere in the United States Come to, uh, to looking at the scenario that I see. But Governor Manchin is somebody that supports Obamacare. He always has. Now he's flip-flopping. He has supported uh, cap-and-trade. He always has, and now he's flip-flopping. And even here in the state of West Virginia, Governor Manchin has his own cap-and-trade. It's called House Bill 103. Mm -hmm. And West Virginia, by law, right, right. now has cap-and-trade. And so when you look at the stimulus money that he's taken, okay. it's quite clear who Governor Manchin is. All right. Well, now we've got a better idea who John Racy is. Sir, we thank you very much for joining us today from West Virginia. Thank Good you luck. so much, Steve. You bet. Thank you.